Hello and welcome back to this week's Technology Thursday. I'm Joe Bloffus, Precision Ag Consultant for St. James, Truman, and Jackson areas. Today we're going to be talking about Work Planner. We're going to be utilizing the Operations Center and Gen 4 display for this. Work Planner helps you plan out your work before you get to the field and have to set it up in the monitor. It pre-populates everything in the monitor when you send the file out to it. So how you start with that is you would go to Operations Center, then we're going to go up to Plan, we're going to go to Work Planner. We're then going to go to the 2022 season and we're going to start with seeding. So we're going to plan seeding here. Here we have two fields. We're going to select both of these fields and create a plan for both of them. Here we can select our crop. I want to say we want to put corn on both of those fields. Then we're going to select a variety. We can either do that by selecting a variety for both of them or we can go to modify two fields individually. I'm going to select a variety for both of them. Here, now we can put in our population for both of them. I'm going to put 37,000 in for home. And I'm going to put a prescription that I preloaded already for the sandbox. You see that comes up already. So now I can go to select products for product and tank mix. We're going to put starter fertilizer down. Here, I'm going to put in a rate of seven gallons per an acre, or you could actually modify that for each field if you'd like. Here, I'm going to include all guidance lines, or you can select guidance lines, and the starred guidance line is the first one that will pop up automatically in the monitor. We'll select our machine, and our implement, and an operator. You can also put a work order number down if you'd like, and some instructions such as start at north end. Go ahead and save. So now we have two fields that have planned work. Now it gets stored in here, but it does not get sent. So if you wanted to send this out to a machine, we'd select both of these fields. And here we can either edit or we can send to the machine, complete it or delete it. We're going to send to the machine. So here now we can say that we're going to send it out to the 8370RT. Software updated recommended. This will tell you if it needs an update or if it doesn't need an update. Also, we can change the name of the file to whatever we like. We're going to leave it at work, set up seeding, and go ahead and send. So your file is being created, and it'll be sent out to the machine. We're going to click Done. Now that the files were sent to the display, we can go ahead and open up in the Files Manager. Here we have a work setup seating. Go ahead and make sure this is selected. And then next. We can go ahead and make sure that we import the setup data. Now that we've imported our files, go to setup, work list, and here's my planned work. We can go to work details, Here's instructions, our implement, our variety, product information for our starter fertilizer, guidance tracks, and boundary. To accept these, go ahead and press OK. And we'll accept this also. Here it pre-populates our client farm field information, our operator, our equipment, what we're planting, and what the starter fertilizer is. Press OK. Here it pre-populates that information here. Thanks for joining us for this week's Technology Thursday. I'm Joe Bloffus from CNB Operations, your John Deere dealer of choice.